What up guys, Psyched here. I'm going to be showcasing my top 5 favorite mods for Payday 2. All these mods mentioned in this video will be linked in the video's description below. Keep in mind that this list is definitely not a list that everyone will agree on and this list is my own personal opinion, so feel free to let us know your favorite mods in the comments and how they stack up against each other. Starting the list at number 5, Custom FPS Option Created by I'm Not A Spy is a mod that boosts the set frame limit of Payday 2 from 135 to 144 and 9001 respectively. This mod's very handy for those like myself who own a 144Hz screen because being limited to 135 frames with a 144Hz screen creates a very choppy feel and installing this mod's a very nice and quick fix which is why it takes my number 5 spot. Coming in at number 4, the Ragdoll Collision V2 is a mod created by Zidane. When installed, as the name suggests, the Ragdolls will now collide and stack with each other rather than ghosting through. Coupled with the other mods on my list, this mod can make for some pretty hectic scenes that otherwise would not be possible. Keep in mind that the Ragdoll Collision V2 mod does come with some drawbacks as people are reporting that the mod may cause issues with stealthing, but I have yet to run into any of these problems using this mod thus far. Another thing to mention is that at times the units may die and appear as if they're standing and make for a pretty tough time distinguishing between units that are alive and dead. Sitting at the number 3 spot is Auto Given's Messy Package created by Auto Given. This mod's pretty damn awesome as it makes all the bullet holes and blood linger on the map for 10 whole minutes. The reason why this is at number 3 is that seeing all the blood and bullet holes during and post assault waves make for a more immersive feel rather than an arcadey feel. Not much else to explain here, pretty much self explanatory. Let's move on to number 2. It was a real close call between number 2 and number 1 but I actually had to sit down and think about it a ton longer than I should have but anyhow just missing out on first place on my list is Goon Mod. This particular mod is most famous for its corpse delimiter raising the amount of ragdolls on the map to 1024. As you can imagine coupled with the other mods on my list this can create for some really awesome battlefield scenes. Another feature is included in the Goon Mod is the push to interact button. With this mod installed you won't have to hold down the button to fix drills, setting things up and answering pages. This makes life so much easier. This mod also adds custom waypoints on Payday 2 that can be seen by those who have the mod installed or don't have it installed. This tool is quite useful because it can help you give the ability to point out certain things or objectives on the map and it also shows how far it is. Another addition that Goon Mod adds into the game is Gauge Coins. These coins can be collected via completing Gauge Career packages and are stored in the Extended Invent section of your inventory. These coins can be spent on purchasing weapon mods, masks, and also mask patterns and colours. Some may feel as if this is cheating as it adds another way for people to obtain equipment other than cards, but others also claim that they're rightfully earned. Regardless of where you stand, you can decide for yourself whether you choose to participate in the store or simply deactivate it in the options menu. Goon Mod also adds mutators to the game, so if you're looking to have a couple of laughs with your friends then this may be for you. Mutators are an additional game mode that can only be played in private or friends only lobbies. They mainly affect the enemy units and some pretty ridiculous things can happen when used. I'll let you guys check that out for yourselves. And that pretty much wraps up number 2 on my list. If you want to learn about the other things that Goon Mod adds to the game, then check out the link in the description below. And now the time that you've all been waiting for, the number one mod that trumps all mods on the list to be on top is the Hollywood Shootout mod. This ridiculous mod does exactly what it sounds like, if Michael Bay were part of Overkill, then this mod would definitely be in the direction that he would have wanted the game to go. Sparks flying everywhere, bigger explosions and blood on impact makes the game feel that much better. I can't imagine playing the game now without this mod now that I started playing with it, and that is why the Hollywood Shootout mod by Auto Gibbon is number one on my list. And there you have it guys, these are my top 5 favourite mods for Payday 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and I'll try to help you guys as much as I can. I've also linked in the description on a guide on how to install these mods and I've also put links to the mods in this video down below as well. My name is Psyched, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video.